Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Twilight Zone. Sorry, I mean to the uh, stream today where we've just had even more crazy announcements come out, not from just from the UK, but also the USA, which we'll get into. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, I actually own chickens. I have chickens, as many of you no, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you also own chickens. It's quite a common thing these days to have a, you know, some backyard chickens or a homestead. And, well, what did we talk about a year ago? If you remember, and if you're live right now, drop it in the chat. What did we talk about a year ago when I said about this new policy they're bringing in where if you have 50 chickens or more, you need to register those chickens? If you remember, drop it in the chat what I said. Well, here we are today, and exactly that has come to pass. That if you have a chicken, one chicken in your backyard now, you have to register with the government your one chicken. This is not a joke. We're going to talk about this today. And I wanted to, as always, inform you of what happens if you don't. What is the punishment? For not registering your one chicken. It is six months prison. <laughs> uh, what are you in for? Oh, I got three months for uh, violent assault. What about you? At uh, Six months for uh, I didn't register my chicken. All oh, right. Okay. And what is the fine? It's £5,000. And I think we can all agree that's no poultry sum. So I had to I had to get that one in there. So let's um, let's have a look at all of this then. Let's throw this. Let's get onto the uh, live stream there, and let's get onto the shared screen. So this is how it started a year ago, and I covered this a year ago. Keep it, chickens kept in gardens will have to be registered under planned new rules. Nothing strange about this. Although I did say, wow, if you have fifty birds, you've now got to register. It's a little bit unusual. But uh, okay, well, that's how it was. Well, now they've put these new rules in, which was meant to be for the poultry industry. But now they're saying it's to protect the poultry industry from your birds. And uh, I've got to show you this map in a moment because it, it was it made me laugh so hard when I saw. We've got to have a look at we've got to have a look at these maps in a moment. Of hold on, hold on, let's see if we can find a funny one. Gull. Someone has a gull, one gull. That <laughs> someone has one gull. Another one had a goose. Uh, someone had a goose and they've registered their, their one goose. So now people are starting to register. One person's got a duck. Uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I just don't know where to start with all of this. It's <laughs> Okay, Farmers Weekly. New rules, so this has just come out, mean all poultry keepers must register their birds. So if you've got a chicken, you are a poultry keeper. All poultry keepers will be required to log their flocks. <laughs> oh gosh, imagine you've got two chickens. You've got a flock apparently now. You're on the same rules as these big companies. On the national register this autumn, even uh, autumn is fall, by the way, for the um, North Americans, even if they own just a few birds in a backyard flock, this is to tighten up disease control, apparently. And uh, I, I did look at this. How much is this going to cost if you have to do these vaccine rollouts? Oh, not a lot for those of you who, who have got a little shed. Only £1,500 per month. So nothing major. Don't worry. It's only going to cost you £1,500 per month for your, for your chicken. Uh, how much is that an egg, by the way? Someone just calculate, <laughs> calculate that. Why? Why are they saying? Because it's important that you get these updates that are relevant to you, such as local disease outbreaks and information on biosecurity rules to help protect your chicken. This is also about effective surveillance. Yes, because they want to know where your chicken is at all times. This is alongside stringent biosecurity measures. Registration is just another tool to safeguard bird health. Bird keepers will need to provide information, including your contact details, 
the exact location where your bird is kept and the details of the bird. And you have to fill in the form. This is legit. I did look the form up. You have to explain your reason for having that bird or having your, let's just say two chickens, right? Two or three chickens. You have to, it says justification for keeping the bird. <laughs> You've got to justify to the government why you've got a couple of chickens. Oh, goodness me. This is the twilight zone. When do you have to do this by? The 1st of October, 2024. But if you're in Scotland, you've got even less time. It's the 1st of September, 2024. You will be legally required to do this on an annual basis. And that's not all. There's also a fee. Oh, yes. We'll get on to the fee. Uh, avi uh, avian influenza cases in control zones. Interesting. We've got these zones. Animal plant health agency. Interesting. So now there's all these. Here's the zones that are in force right now. These are all your different zones if you're in the UK. And uh, oh gosh, this one. This one just made me laugh so much. A gull. Okay, we got a gull. We have a swan, right? Someone's got a swan over there in, in Wales. Okay, a pet swan or something. We have a goose. Someone's registered their, their goose. Okay, so it's good to see that people are starting to register their, their birds here. We need to do this in order to protect. I'm not even sure, but uh, here's the rest of it. This has just come out. This is a bit like me in the background and there's my wife, Kristin, holding, uh, holding the chicken. Yes, you get a 5,000 pound fine if you don't register your, your chickens. <laughs> uh, or you could get six months in prison next to that violent offender who's just got uh, three months and is probably out on probation in four weeks or six weeks. It follows a consultation with most respondents, this is what made me laugh, with most respondents favoring keeping the existing regulations. With just 13% backing the change to registration for one, look at this, we, we, I'm trying to say this without laughing, for one bird <laughs> or more. So only 13% of people wanted this, but yet, it passed anyway. So they had a consultation and only 13% backed it, but they they passed it anyway. It's a bit like what happened with the uh, Oxford City <laughs> with a consultation on the driving rules and yet they passed it anyway. To register, the birds need to, you need to get a, a parish holding number from the, what's it called? The Rural Payments Agency. Hmm, that's an interesting title for a, Bird Health is a payments agency. I see. The UK is completely avian flu free, but the changes are to limit future disease outbreaks. Ah, got it. I see. That's what it's that's what it's for. And then there's all these articles coming out. Chickens cost five pounds per egg. Yes, there is is five pounds an egg, and it's an addiction, apparently. You need to be careful because it's becoming an addiction. And uh, yeah, next thing you know, you'll be going to the doctor because of this addiction to free range eggs. <laughs> oh gosh, owners can be drowning. Can you imagine drowning? I mean, dr I just can't imagine this. I'm, I'm there, I'm just drowning in eggs. There's so many eggs. They filled the entire room. I'm just drowning in all these, these eggs, apparently. Getting buy with a steady daily limit. I mean, I just, yeah. But regardless of the egg count, the upkeep of looking after a backyard flock can rack up with owners joking. I've never heard this joke, but okay. It would be cheaper to buy diamond earrings. I think the writers just made that up. I've never heard anyone say that before, that uh, it's cheaper than, than diamond, it, cheaper to buy diamond earrings. But um, there we go. And um, well, what has this resulted in? We've also got 140 million birds. Again, we talked about this. This is right through the US as well. The US is culling hundreds of millions of birds. If they find even one outbreak, they all get culled like this here. People are going crazy about this, saying that it's completely wrong to do it. I just, where do we even, where do we even start with all this? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I'm in a jovial mood today, which I shouldn't be. I was actually, I was actually out, out back today doing a big clear up 
and I stabbed myself in the right eye. So if one eye's looking this way, one's looking the other on this stream, that's why I stabbed myself out of this eye. I can't even see out of it. Everything's a blur. But, you know, you just got to smile sometimes and laugh about these things. Another thing that's been announced then, I just pulled this up today. Cattle in the USA. I had to look this up because someone told me about it and I thought it was a joke. Congress has passed a measure allocating $15 million, which is going to the big companies, for electronic livestock tracking. And a lot of that money is going to the software and these contracts. Raising concerns about government overreach and the potential to limit beef consumption. Really, you think they want to limit beef consumption? I just cannot believe that at all. So they want to put these tags on all cattle so that they know where the cattle is at any one point. And they said that this will stop the cattle from going into other areas and spreading disease. Now, I'm no cattle rancher or genius, but I thought there was fences for each cattle farm. I mean, I didn't realize that they go on vacation, they go and visit their grandmother. You know, they're over in Texas, they, they go and visit their grandmother over in Florida, do a little bit of, you know, migration patterns. I mean, I'm not really sure exactly where this is, uh, where this is going, but this was mandated. Radio frequency identification tags for cattle and bison movement. Critics are now arguing the mandate is going to increase beef prices precipitously and place undue burdens on ranchers already struggling with regulations and drought. The other thing they're not really saying is that there's going to be grants for the big cattle farms. So it's going to be the smaller farmers that are going to struggle. Yet again, they've got to pay for all these new regulations here. This is mad. So what are they? Um, there's new suggestions coming out for US citizens because there's a bird flu outbreak, one case <coughs> in the USA. So what are they advising you do? This is legit. Okay, you ready? This is what they're advising you do. Precautions include wearing a mask in public. Two masks may give better. <laughs> Two masks. <laughs> two masks, frequent hand washing, and considering the new anti-flu drug, Exofuza, X-O-F-U-Z-A, when exposed. The seasonal flu vaccine, while not a match for H5N1, is recommended for everyone to protect against these bird flu potential cases. One case. Yeah, hundreds of millions of you can go out and get your bird flu vaccine. Yeah, you never know. That one case might just somehow, it's madness. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to all of this. It's crazy. Every day gets more and more crazy. It really does. And uh, yeah, a question, by the way, someone was asking if I talk uh, about my plans, bug out plans, where I'm going and what I'm doing at my home. I mean, I've said this quite a lot, but um, most of this stuff I put in my private community on Patreon. You can find the link below if you're interested and you can see all the renovations on my property and you can see all my posts and what I'm doing and where I'm going to be going to and all that. Just just for anyone that's interested, because I do see it in the comments all the time. People ask, but I, but I don't put it on YouTube. You know, it's a completely separate thing. And um, if you haven't got the finance courses, by the way, they are going to, um, the coupons are going to expire on the 15th of April. So that'll be it. There won't be another sale on that until Black Friday in November. And the new course will be released sometime late spring, summertime. So that is really it for you today. You're up to date on all of this craziness and madness. Uh, boy, what do we even say to it? We At this point, I've got to laugh and smile because it's so obvious what they're doing. They are tracking, they are bringing in more measures, they are trying to put up prices with all these measures, they're trying to stop people, scare them from having backyard chickens. You know, all the stuff they are doing is so obvious to me and it should be obvious to all of you at this point. Take care, God bless you guys and uh, keep 
getting your chickens. 